This might sound crazy, but can you run Minecraft on Minecraft? This is it, lads. We've hit the absolute peak of Minecraft content. Minecraft running in Minecraft. And it freaking works. I mean, kind of. It kind of works. You see, as a self-proclaimed can it run Minecraft guy, I'm always on the hunt for the next device that can, well, run Minecraft. But week in and week out, and I've honestly started to question everything. Where is all this going? What is all this running Minecraft for? What's the end game here? Well, I don't want to jump the gun, but I think we've done it, Legends. And running Minecraft on Minecraft is way sicker than I could have ever imagined. Alright squad, the year is coming to a close and it's been legit epic. We are so close to hitting 100,000 legends, which is actually, it's literally insane. <laughs> which by the way, be a legend, hit subscribe. But see, we gotta end the year on a high with a slapping video. Do I run Minecraft on a PSP? Or do I see if I can run Minecraft better on the Tesla again? Oh man, I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Man, was I struggling to find a worthy project. But then I saw this comment from one of you legends. Can you run Minecraft? on Minecraft. Wait a second, that's a good question. See, I'm a big Christopher Nolan fan. Gotta love a man in a suit. The first movie that really blew my socks off was Inception. Even to this day, Dreams Within Dreams is a mind trip. I don't really know why I keep wearing this lab coat. I think it just makes me feel more important than I actually am. See, what if I can combine Minecraft and Inception? A dream within a dream and Minecraft within Minecraft. This could be the video that makes Christopher Nolan proud. But how would you even do it? Minecraft within Minecraft? Surely that's not possible. Yep. Turns out it's totally possible, and I am not the first person to try it. About three or four years ago, there was this crazy mod floating around called VM Computers. It essentially made it possible to build a PC inside of Minecraft, and then boot a fully blown virtual machine inside of Minecraft. What the crap is this game, dude? I've been playing it for 15 years and still my mind is blown. Technically, if we can run Minecraft on a virtual machine that's running inside of Minecraft, we will have successfully run Minecraft on Minecraft. How the heck am I going to explain this to my future kids? Dad's off to work, time to run Minecraft on a satellite. Wait, that's actually kind of sick. <laughs> So here's what we need to make this happen. First up, I'll need a copy of Minecraft and the VM computers mod. It's a little outdated, but we should be able to make it work. Then I'll need to download VirtualBox. It's a tool for running virtual machines so you can run other operating systems on your computer. And of course, you'll need a pretty stonky PC because running anything within anything takes some serious power. And for that, I have my M1 MacBook Pro. I can feel the PC lads cringing right now. I promise, one day I'll build a PC. So I got to work downloading and installing everything I need to make this happen. However, things turned south pretty freaking quick. <laughs> Yeah, running a virtual machine on Apple Silicon is not the move, for a couple of reasons. Honestly, it's pretty tricky to find an operating system that can run on the M1 MacBook. There's a few Linux options, but nothing really seemed to work. But the biggest struggle was with VirtualBox. It was never officially released for Apple Silicon, and so all I had was a development version that was pretty rough. Now, if you have any experience with virtual machines in general, you know there's a ton of different apps that can do exactly what VirtualBox does. But the VM Computers mod only works with VirtualBox, at least for now. You know, I do regularly think about how much easier these projects would be if I just had a PC. But instead, I refuse to get one because that's what Apple fanboys do. So with my MacBook Pro out of the question, I enlisted the help of the only hardware in my house that could get the job done. My wife's iMac. Desperate times call for desperate measures. But at least now all the software that I'll need will be compatible. Hopefully. Let's give this a go, man. <laughs> okay, hopefully we've done it. I know, Scouty, I should just get a PC. But I'm hoping that this is it. <laughs> You know what's crazy? This channel's success is literally built on Minecraft. And this is the first time I've actually played Minecraft. But anyway, to celebrate, I built us this house. I'm kidding, I haven't built anything. This was made by a very talented map designer that I found on the internet. But let's have a look around. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> there it is, boys. Where should we build this computer? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, on my computer here, I have the instructions on how to build the computers so that we can start Minecraft. Yep, you heard that right. This mod doesn't just let you run a virtual machine in Minecraft, it's a full on experience. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need a crafting table. What is that? Daylight detector. What the heck? With the clock there, we're gonna put the button down here, the compass there, the glass in the middle, and the daylight detector on top. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played Minecraft. Oh no, that's so silly. Okay, what I need is a glass panel. Jeez, this is my first time playing Minecraft apparently. Boom, there we go. And now we have ourselves a tablet. <laughs> Look at this. What this tablet's gonna let us do is order computer parts from a satellite. So all I need to do is hit enter. Ooh, 
Ooh. Let's check out parts. Dude, I'm freaking out. This is my first PC. This is my first real PC. So I'm gonna order a PC case with the glass side panel. I'm gonna go 64 bit motherboard. Let's go four gig of RAM. And then we're gonna go a GPU and then a hard drive. Okay. All right, purchase. I think that's all we need. This is wild, dude. I can't believe someone made this mod. Yoo-hoo. Oh, whoa, there it is. All right, I'm gonna give it my money. Okay, yeah, I bought a few things here. Uh, okay, so far so good. Everything seems to be working pretty well. But here's where we started to run into some problems. How many TVs did I place down? Shoot, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Uh oh. So the way this plugin works, when you have everything set up, you can right click on the screen and that puts you into a focus mode. So all your keyboard and mouse inputs is controlling the virtual machine that's being run inside of Minecraft. Except it wasn't that easy for me. Technically these key combinations should work and allow me to exit focus mode and continue playing Minecraft as normal. But nope, <laughs> zero key combinations worked. Which meant every time I wanted to exit the PC within Minecraft, I had to quit Minecraft completely. It's a minor detail for now, so let's power on. Now that everything we need is delivered, we can build our PC. I opened up all our packages, now let's throw in everything we need. So we're gonna add a one quarter CPU, four gig of RAM, and then we're gonna add the GPU, add that hard drive, very good. I'm gonna go turn on PC, but I'm gonna select an ISO. I like that I've never built a PC in real life, but I'm spending all this time building a PC inside of Minecraft. My operating system of choice today is Lubuntu, which is a stripped down version of Ubuntu, a Linux operating system. I used Lubuntu in a previous video where I got my sister's trash laptop running Minecraft at a pretty decent level. And considering we're running a computer inside of a computer, I gotta give this iMac the best chance it has. And I'm hoping Lubuntu takes the least amount of resources to run. So with Lubuntu installed in VirtualBox, let's give this a go. Let's get a CRT. Throw that down. Wait a freaking second. <laughs> Wait a freaking second. Get the crap out of here, dude. And there we have it. We have Linux running on a virtual machine on a virtual PC inside of Minecraft. Get the crap out of here, bro. <laughs> Okay, if I'm honest, I'm having a bit of a rough time. <laughs> Setting everything up has been okay, and technically we have a virtual machine running inside of Minecraft, which again is just silly. It's just so silly. But I can't for the life of me work out how to unfocus my mouse once I've clicked on a screen, which makes playing Minecraft a little bit frustrating. I doubt this is a mod problem. I'm pretty sure this is a me problem. I'm gonna work it out. And on top of that, Linux had this bug where the cursor just doesn't show, making it extra difficult to find my way around. Knowing this is possible, it's probably the most frustrating part. So I'm gonna go touch some grass and uh, have a break. But I knew I had to get back to it. I can't let you legends down. So let's try something different to see if that solves our problems. Let's try everyone's favorite, Windows 10. But shocker, I ran into problems immediately. Windows 10 wouldn't even install, let alone boot in VirtualBox. But luckily for me, Google exists. <laughs> and I was eventually able to get VirtualBox to boot Windows 10. Okay, after a hot minute, we've got Windows installing, but the lag is not great. We haven't given up yet, man. We haven't given up yet. Except I did give up. I gave up on Windows pretty dang quick. Windows 10 was chunky, and there's no way Minecraft could run in a playable way. So instead I went back to Linux, and instead of trying to play Minecraft, I'm gonna use Classic Cube instead. I'm already pushing this iMac to its absolute limits by running a virtual machine, <laughs> and I would love to have a somewhat playable Minecraft Minecraft within Minecraft experience. And this is where we're at. This is Classic Cube running super smoothly. I'm getting around 40 frames. Which man, if I got around 40 frames in Minecraft within Minecraft, I'll be, I'll be jacked. I'll just be jacked. <laughs> so with everything set up again and Classic Cube running super well in Linux, let's see if we can play Minecraft in Minecraft. Okay, man, let's flip and do this. <laughs> Put it into work. And let's turn on the PC. We are back, baby. Okay, I'm super skeptical about using the screen because I don't know if it's gonna work. So instead I'm gonna do it within VirtualBox. It's kind of freaking out, but that's okay. This just has to work once. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's go back to Minecraft. Crap. Yep, I got stuck again. <laughs> let's just restart Minecraft. Again, this just has to work properly once. So close. Oh God. 
Let's go back to Minecraft. There it is. Look, it's freaking working, dude. Okay, this is the spot. I want to sit here and play Minecraft in Minecraft. Let's put the keyboard down. That's it. That's all of it. Look how good it looks. It's a freaking computer in Minecraft. Can Minecraft run in Minecraft? This is it. <laughs> what the heck? You know what? It's honestly so playable. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the double crosshair. That's hilarious. What the crap? We freaking did it, lads. Minecraft running in Minecraft. And the sun's going down and everything. Oh my gosh. Wow, dude. What the heck, man? What is this game? This game is out of control. Why would anyone need to do this? It just doesn't make any sense, but it is so epic. Literally insanity. Every time. Always blows my mind. Dang. 